Hey everyone, it's Gary here, and if you're wondering, yes, I am on the back of the Pridwin, just a few inches from the drop. It's actually kind of terrifying right now, and also, if you're if you're wondering, why don't I cover this thing, because apparently, it's technically not the Pridwin at all. As you can see right down there, if I can get the camera at angle, well... You probably might see that Sanctuary Hills, that ain't, that isn't Boston Airport. I'll probably explain this in the Brotherhood edition of the Mars Weekly. Oh, well, technically it might be of Mars Weekly, but let's get on to the video. So the first mod I want to show you is the APC mod. As you can see right there, there it is. And all I have to do is jump down. and go to the APC. Just to let you know, before you- hang on a second, camera. Alright, and we're back. Wow, I really need to ask Matthew Chief to get us a proper set, but here is the APC. Just a few things to let you guys know. The trapdoor will be permanently open. You'll see a mat for some reason, and a bench that- or a bench, sorry, my accent, that at the moment I can't really sit on Mostly because I'm in power armor. But also to let you know, it also has a working stove, a few cooking supplies, a fusion cell bin, ammo boxes, a mirror, and just a whole nother stuff. Even Nuka cherries that are clipping through the roof for some reason. We got some uh, miniature APC right here, and a miniature uh, vertebrate. You got a first aid kick a beer crate that at this moment I'll be using as a Nuka Cola container mostly because I want to do a prank on Matthew Chief because he loves his Nuka Cola for some reason also there is a bed so you can place down here and sleep in this vehicle that is clearly open which means you'll get killed instantly but just to let you know the fuel is going to be nuclear material. It takes away one nuclear material if you drive this place. Apparently you can drive this place all the way to Boston and only use one nuclear material. Or you can just drive a few feet to Concord. Hello there Mr. Man and Man. But also to let you know you will need some tire repair kits since you'll have to inspect some of the tires. I cannot do that right now because I'm in power armor. Yes, Power Armor actually strictly restricts a lot of things, but you know what? It's worth it. And we'll about to... It also, first we got Settlements, then there's set Settlements 2, which is just a few more Settlements. Then we got Cities. Hang on, it didn't work there. This is a glitch you might see. And then, another glitch. <sighs> Sorry, this is very hard to control. And then we got other, which is a bunch of things that sometimes you will not want to go. Except for the Adam Cat's Garage. They always give me my armor some nice paint jobs. Hang on a second. I gotta work this thing because to be honest I've never actually driven this thing before which I'm telling you now because I'm technically going to steal it from Matthew Chief I'm gonna pull off a lot of pranks so I apparently drove this APC all the way to near Diamond City because Boston is the exact place I want to be I'm in the middle of a gunner gunfight so hang on let me take these guys down first how rude And you're probably asking why I'm at Diamond City of all places, and also why there's a gunfight. First of all, uh, Matthew Chief just wants to fight gunners, so he spawned them all here. Second, um, in Boston, there is a, a mod called Skyscraper Settlement mod. Um, just to let you know, it's one of these buildings, for sure. One of these buildings. They have to be really, really close to each other, so I'm guessing it's... That's one? Maybe. So we'll have to walk over here for a second. 
And here we go. Here is the settlement. Just to let you know, it's just called Skyscraper Settlement. And nothing, nothing else. And just to let you know, you'll probably ask why is the... The, the, door, the door not opening. Well, no one knows. And just to let you know, the whole unlocking thing does not work at all. Never mind, it apparently does for some reason. Weird, Matt told me it never ever, ever worked. Like, ever. Never ever. So here we are in our own giant, giant tower. And to be honest, um, not really much to do here. So far, all you have to do is just run up a bunch of stairs, which is kind of just a swell, just ease for B. <sighs> That's because you're saying that I'm in power armor. And you know what? You're right. It's because I am in power armor. Oh, I'm just making a lot of power armor jokes right now for some reason. So we'll just walk up a few flight of stairs, and you're probably wondering why I'm not using the elevator. Because elevators are for tech freaks. You probably might be saying I'm a tech freak, and you know what? You're right, I am. But you know what? These elevators do not work. For some reason. And you know what? They probably might work now. But we'll just... won't really try them out. So now that we're in our skyscraper settlement, we need something to do besides messing with all this food stuff, looking at the CIT ruins, and look at this extremely hard to see Commonwealth map. It burns your eyes. And you wanna know why? Because this is technology these days. And with this mod, we will have um the Elder Weapons mod. As you can probably see right now, there are probably some gunners breaking into this to the settlement as we speak. So, what's way to, to get a gun? As you probably might saw, I just clearly left my armor, which I probably should have. Oi, hopefully no one saw my face. Okay then, so that is better. Now that my face is pretty much hidden, we can craft something now. You can either craft some iron, steel, or each alum, whatever you call that, silver, gold, moonstone, malachite, a bony, and I think that's it. And all of these require a lot and lot of rare, rare things. Not only that, but all these weapons require a lot of those substances. So we got iron over here, we got clubs, daggers, great sword, long sword, which is... Now I think about it, the great sword is actually longer than the long sword. Yeah, I was expecting more. So we got a saber right here, a shimitar, or at least I think that's why you pronounce it, iron, and also, um, just more things, including a steel staff. And also these weak wooden items. So we're going to choose the most strongest things here. And what is that? Of course, there are whatever these things are they are monic st things stuff Ooh. so anyways we are going to go to a weapon station so we can upgrade these things so I have apparently taken out my portable weapons item that I usually keep in, in my power armor so now we are going to upgrade this long sword so we can either have sharpened, cryo braid, curved Ripper add-on, electrified braid, extended ripper add-on, heating coils, and that's it. And for there yeah, my it's just upgrades. Ugh, I'm sorry, I haven't really slept that much. So I'm always gonna choose the sharpen because why not? And now it is time to deal with these gunners. So apparently. The gunners have all ran away for some reason. Either way, they are just killed and... Wait a minute. What was that? Oh no, it's the super mutants. They've come back for revenge for what I've done to their brothers in the first episode. Die. Alright then. So apparently, all of these super mutants must die. So far, the demonic sword is a... It's a... 
very decent weapon. And so far, none of these super mutants mind getting taken out by... Okay then, so probably the game froze. Hang on a second. So I'm back, and apparently the game crashed. And it's mostly because the reason why those super mutants weren't really fighting me is because they weren't trying to fight me at all. They were hacking into the game files and trying to mess up the game. I of course killed them and got uh, back all those game files that they deleted. Don't ask me why. I am not a hacker myself. Okay, maybe. But it is time to get some revenge. So the reason why I'm cowering behind this corner is because the Zimians gave up and instead brung their older brother, Swan, to, to go attack me for them. Oh my. So it looks like I'm going to have to use my fist laser to kill him. I think this is effective. Alright then, never mind, this isn't effective at all. Alright then, so all else has pretty much failed, but there's only one thing that can save us all, and it's pretty much our next mod, John Cena. As you can pretty much saw, it is a sound replacer for the fat man, so you can so John Cena can save us all. John Cena, everyone, it is surprisingly effective. So thanks for watching this video everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, my fight for my settlement on the tower has been successful, and from now on I'll probably be living here. It's such a nice view, isn't it? So make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and comment down which types of mods I should review next. So, this is Gary, and see you guys later.